Welcome, welcome back to another English class, to another two hours of English with me. But in this channel, you have English 24 hours a day, so I'm not the only alternative for your English on Aprende Inglés TV. Uh, everything is productive. Exposure to the language, exposición al idioma, simplemente expone el oído a los sonidos del idioma. Aunque estés planchando y pensando en otras cosas, que el inglés llega al oído, acaricia el oído y al cabo de seis meses, doce meses, de repente das cuenta de que entiendes mucho mejor el idioma. Porque cuando no entiendes, cuando intentas ver una película, por ejemplo, when you try to watch a movie in English and you get frustrated because oh, solo cazo el 10%, Uh, it's true. <laughs> you only understand perhaps 10%. But if I show you the script, el guion de la película, and I show it to you, you say, anda, pues entiende el 80%. Mm. ¿Por qué será? That gap, esa brecha, esa laguna, that gap between captura auditiva y comprensión de, de la, a la hora de leer is tremendous. And we need to bring it together. You understand? Which means that when you don't understand, 80 or 90% of the time, it's not because the other person or the movie is using words, expressions, or vocabulary that you don't know. Kima, they're, they're connecting words, and your ear is not discriminating the sounds. And the only way to develop the ability to discriminate sounds is to expose your ear to dichos sonidos, to those sounds. Cuando aquí en español decís tira pa'lante, pues yo ya sé que pa'lante significa para adelante. Pero yo tardé un año en darme cuenta de que pa'lante, pa'lante, todo seguido, ¿ok? And finally, anda, para adelante, vaya contracción, como un piano aquí. Por lo menos tenés la, tenemos la gentileza en los países de habla inglesa de poner apóstrofes cuando vamos a comer letras, pero vosotros sin apóstrofes. Tira para adelante, habría falta tres o cuatro apóstrofes ahí. All right, and you don't do it. So, in Spanish, in English, in French, in every language, people connect words in a very dynamic way, with a very dynamic flow. And it's not easy for a foreign ear, un oído extranjero, mm -hmm. to enter into that immediately. But after an amount of time, you begin to realize, empiezas a darte cuenta, that these people are using structures and words that are in book one and book two for beginners. For beginner's book and the pre-intermediate book number two. And you say, anda, que facil es. Francés, inglés, alemán, etc. Because people are using basic structures, basic words to communicate, and you are not understanding. So, what you have to do, it's impossible to study to understand better. You can't, and I can't teach you to understand better. You simply need to keep your ear close to the language, the sounds of the language. And after a certain amount of time, after a certain amount of time, you will st realize that you understand better. Okay? All right. Now, I have some people with me whom I think you know. They've been with me on two other programs before, I believe, okay? And their English is very good. Their English is very good. Rayando, rayando la perfección. Rayando con Y. Porque con él, ella es ray, pan rayado, creo. Okay, <laughs> rayar no, ese es rayar no. Rayar un disco y rayar pan sounds the same, but they have different letters, okay? <clears throat> Queso rayado, yes. Grated cheese, okay? I had spaghetti last night for dinner. And I put my grated cheese. It was good. Manchego cheese. It was not Parmesan cheese. Parmesano. No, it was Manchego. And it was good. I liked it. Okay, but I'm, uh, I'm uh, going off por los cerros de Ubeda. So I think I'm coming back. And not to go off on a tangent. To go off on dos preposiciones. Salirse por la tangente. We say in English to go off, con doble F, on, como una luz, off, on. No sé por qué lo hacemos. To go off on a tangent. And I'm going off on a tangent. So let's come back to reality. This is an English class. We are here to teach you English. So, seriedad, okay? Now, on my left, Mercedes, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, I like your outfit. You're, you're a cowgirl today. Uh, yes, I am. All right. <laughs> uh, is that yours? 
Yeah, it's a tooth. All right. Do you wear that often? Yes, when I'm not at work, yes. Okay, but you're at work now. This is work. Oh, yes. Well, no. That's this is for fun for me. But look, are you here to have a good time, or do you consider this serious? No, serious. Fantastic. Okay. Yes, are you going to be serious in the next 25 minutes? Yes, I will be. Okay, good. And Susanna, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You also look very nice. You look very different, the two of you. <laughs> thank right. you. Now, uh, does Mercedes have curly hair, wavy hair, or straight hair? She has uh, curly hair. Curly hair? Curly. Curly hair. 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 All right, care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about my hair. I don't care about my hair. Hair. Eso. Hair. 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 Okay. I think her hair is wavy. Maybe not curly. Like the same. Más ondulado. No rizado. Yeah, maybe, wavy. yes. Maybe. Now, mm. and Susana's hair? Straight hair. Straight. Pelo recto. Mm. I think it was in English. Mm -hmm. Pelo liso. Ask me if I have straight hair or curly hair. Do you have a straight hair or... Hair. Hair. Oui. Do you have a straight hair or curly hair? Do you have straight, not a straight. Do you have a straight hair? No hagas pausa en medio. Do you have straight hair? You have straight. Do you yes. have a straight hair or, or curly hair? I, hair. Hair. I, I, <laughs> my God. ¿A qué oyes? Sí. Lo oyes, no? Okay. Hair. All right. I have straight hair. <clears throat> but um, with the gray, mm -hmm. it's not as straight. It's not as soft, soft as before. Okay. Okay, look. Now, ask me if, ask me if I would wear a wig if I lost all my hair. Would you wear a wig if you lost all, all your um, hair? Yeah. No, I wouldn't, because it's está de moda ahora. <laughs> 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 it's rapado, you know? no? Okay. <laughs> so no, if I lost all my hair, I wouldn't wear a wig. Mm. No way, no way. Ask me if I'm losing hair. Are you losing hair? Yes, I'm losing a lot of hair. Ask mm -hmm. if I think I will become bald someday. Do you think you will become bald someday? Yes, I think so. All right, mm -hmm. and ask me if I will feel more self-conscious when I'm bald. Would you feel? Will you? Ah, oh, will you? I stood, porque he dicho que en el futuro sí, me voy a quedar calvo. Mm -hmm. huh? Will you feel? No hay un dicho, no sé qué, todos calvos. No. No. Mm, no. Maybe, but I can't remember. I can't remember. remember it. Okay. Ask me if I will feel self-conscious when I am bald. Uh, will you feel self-conscious when you're bald? Bald. Bald. Bold is osado, atrevido. Bold. bold. Como letra de negrilla, bold letters. Mm -hmm. Bold letter, yeah. Bold. Bold. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Do you understand self-conscious? Yes. Self-conscious is a type, es un tipo de timidez. Pero se dice muchísimo en inglés, self-conscious. Mm -hmm. Self-conscious means pensando mucho en lo que los otros opinan de ti. Mm -hmm. Introvertido. But introverted, look. No, it's not introverted. I'm an introverted person, but I'm not self-conscious. But, but intro, introverted in Spanish <coughs> is self-conscious in English. No introvert, no introvert in English. We'll talk about that after the class. Okay. <laughs> All right, including talking about that's, carnations that's and, what I and roses. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask me that. But um, no, self-conscious means you're simply um, more conscious of what other people think about you than what you think about yourself mm -hmm. or other people, mm -hmm. okay? And it's, it's not very, it's not a good uh, attitude to have because it's, uh, it makes you very shy mm -hmm. and timid. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I wouldn't wear a wig if I were bald. Ask Susana if she thinks Madonna would wear a wig if she became bald. <laughs> Do you think Madonna would uh, wear a big wig if she um, became bald? bald? No, I don't think so. Yeah, she's a strange yes. woman, okay? Uh, <laughs> To wear a wig, wig is peluca wig. de cabeza entera. Mm -hmm. To pay is lo um, que ponen aquí. Mm -hmm. Es un flequillo. Well, to pay. We say to pay. in Spanish. Uh, ah, right. el <coughs> a little piece of hair that people I place here. Mm. All right. Ask if I need a to pay. Do you need a to pay? Uh, not really, but yeah. I mean, if I wanted to, if I were self conscious, mm -hmm. I would. No, I you would. don't need it. All right, not is yet. Is it bisogne? Bisogne. All right, it's a toupee, <laughs> yeah. a toupee. It's interesting, toupee is not an English word, and bisogne doesn't sound like a Spanish no, word no. to me. Okay, now, ask me if I help the poor. Do you? Do, do you help the poor? Hell, hell is if you know. Help. Ah, help. Help. Ask me if I help the poor. Miss la paix, okay. la paix, p, p, okay. la paix is an explosion. 
la T en inglés, si quieres decir T para dos, T for two, mm -hmm. T for two, es una explosión en la mano. You have your full of saliva. Okay. All right, T for two. And also, papa, 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 you can feel it. In Spanish, mm -hmm. no papa. Mm -hmm. You can't feel anything. So, I need to hear help. Okay. Now, ask me if I help the poor. Do you help the poor? Directly, no. Indirectly, yes. Mm -hmm. This television program. There are people who don't have enough money to afford. They can't afford English classes or an English teacher or special intensive courses. And so this is a wonderful opportunity for these people. So I don't directly help the poor. I don't give money assiduously to charities and things like that. But um, if I were a millionaire, if I were swimming in money, I wouldn't mind helping the poor as long as it didn't eliminate their desire to help themselves. Okay, that's different. Now ask me if, um, ask me or no, ask Mercedes, if the Pope should try to help the poor. Should the Pope try to help the poor? Yes, he should. Yes, in fact, the entire uh, uh, hierarchy of the Catholic Church should try to help the poor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of money. It's a, it's a very rich religion, okay? It has a lot of beautiful objects of art mm -hmm. and things that are worth millions and millions of dollars. So yes, I think the, uh, the Church should try to help the poor, and they do. Okay, now ask, ask Susan if she and I were angry with, with each other last night. Were you both angry uh, when you saw each other last night? We didn't see each other last night. It was on the telephone. Ask her, <laughs> okay. ask her if we were angry with each other last night. Ah, were you angry with each other last night? No, we weren't. All right, ask me if I've ever gotten angry with Susana. Have you ever got angry with Susana? <gasps> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and ask me if she's ever gotten angry with me. Have she ever got angry with you? Probably. I'm sure she has. Okay, now ask me if I knew how to ride a horse uh, when I was a little boy. Did you know how to ride a, bo a horse when you were a little boy? Yes, I did. Ask me if I've ridden horses a lot. Have you ridden horses a lot? Yes, I have. Uh, tell um, Mercedes to ask me if I have ever owned a horse. Ask him if he, ha if he has ever owned a horse. Have you ever owned a horse? Good. Puedes hacerlo otra vez. Ask him if he has. Okay. Ask him if he has ever uh, ridden a horse. Owned. owned. Oh, sorry. Own a horse. Owned a horse. Owned a horse. Usa owned a de. horse. Usa owned, a, owned a horse. Good. Have you ever owned a horse? <coughs> Me personally, no. My sister had. Well, my my father, my mm -hmm. parents. Okay. Uh, my father bought a horse for my sister. Uh, tell Susana to ask me how old my sister was when she received a horse for her birthday. Toma. <laughs> <laughs> ask him. How old? Ask him. Ask him. Skin is piel. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. All right. How, how old, old um, his sister was when she when she bought, received when she received the horse. Okay. How old was your sister when she received the horse? Uh, let's see, I was 12, 11, I was 11 or 12, she, so she was 15 mm -hmm. when she received a horse. Uh, to ask me what kind of horse my father gave her. What kind of horse your father did. gave? What kind of horse did your father give her? Good. What kind of horse did your father give her? Could you repeat? What kind of horse did your father give her? He gave her a beautiful white Arabian horse, mm -hmm. female. Ask me what the name of the horse was. What was the name of the horse? The name of the horse was Dixie. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard the word Dixie? Dixie, Dixie, or no? Dixie? Pixie, Dixie. Oh, Pixie, Pixie and Dixie, okay. <laughs> no, it's not Los the same. Los ratones and uh, el gato. Mm -hmm. All right, Dixie, esos yes. malditos roedores. <laughs> okay. Pixie and Dixie. Uh, but Dixie, uh, have you, haven't you ever heard the song? It rings a bell. Oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not mm -hmm. forgotten. Look away, mm -hmm. look away, look away, mm -hmm. Dixie land. Okay. Have you ever heard the group, the Dixie Chicks? Three girls? No, I haven't. Okay. Dixie is a, is a slang, well, slang, no. Dixie is a colloquial word for the South. Los Estados Confederados mm. del Sur. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's called Dixie. It goes from Virginia to Texas. Okay. Passing through Tennessee, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas. That's Dixie or Dixieland. And the first jazz, el jazz, mm -hmm. when it was born, 
the birth of jazz was at the beginning of the 20th century in New Orleans, in the French Quarter mm -hmm. in New Orleans, and it was called Dixieland Jazz. Mm -hmm. Now, there are many different types of jazz now. Mm -hmm. it, they, uh, the <clears throat> professionals have developed jazz beautifully in many different directions. The blues is a style of jazz, different genres of jazz. But the first, when you saw them wearing these hats and playing horns and Louis Armstrong mm -hmm. type of jazz, mm -hmm. okay, with horns and that's Dixieland jazz. Dixie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the horse's name was Dixie. Ask me if it was a good horse. Was it a good horse? Yes, a very good horse. Mm -hmm. Because the father was famous. Mm -hmm. Ask me who Dixie's father was. Who was Dixie's father? Dixie's father was Mr. Pepe. <laughs> Mr. Pepe. 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 Mr. Pepe. Uh -huh. And ask me why Mr. Pepe was famous. Why was Mr. Pepe famous? Mr. Pepe was uh, a champion, the Oklahoma champion quarter horse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me what a quarter horse is. What is a quarter horse? A quarter horse is a horse that is bred. ¿Cómo se dice cruzar especies? Bred. To breed. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cruzado? Bread. Oh, criado. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a horse bred to run one quarter of a mile. Mm -hmm. Ask me how far one quarter of a mile is in meters. How far is a quarter of a mile in meters? About 400 meters. Mm -hmm. To be exact, it's probably 385 mm -hmm. meters, okay? That's one quarter of a mile. Mm -hmm. Okay? A quarter mm -hmm. of a mile. Mm -hmm. So a quarter horse is very fast. Okay? And, but then after that, it gets tired. Okay, now a thoroughbred, thoroughbred, okay, a mais pura sangre, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. normally run one mile, one time around. Mm -hmm. They're the best horses in the world, they're thoroughbreds, okay? But Mr. Pepe was a champion quarter horse, so Dixie was the daughter of a very famous horse. Mm -hmm. Ask me if it was an expensive horse. Was it an expensive horse? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ask me how long we had the horse. How long did you have that horse? For about two years. Mm -hmm. Ask me why my father sold it. Why did your father sell, sell it? Probably because my sister was not using the horse mm. enough. And a horse is it's a lot of expensive. problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a lot of work, a lot of money, mm -hmm. okay? Ask me if I rode the horse a lot. Did you ride the horse a lot? Yes, I did, mm. all right. Ask me if I ever fell off the horse. Have you ever? Did you? Did you, did you, ever, uh, did you ever fell off the fall? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever fall off the horse? Uh, yes, twice. Not really. The horse fell. I didn't fall. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. He fell with you. Yeah, it <laughs> fell too. The horse fell. I didn't fall. <laughs> I have never fallen off a horse. And I've ridden horses a lot. Mm -hmm. But twice, this horse, Dixie, fell. Mm -hmm. Ask me why Dixie fell. Why did Dixie fell? fell? Sorry. Why did Dixie fall? Why did Dixie fall? Okay, that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. They'd have two interpretations. Por qué cayó al sur? But this, in this case, is Dixie. Yeah. <laughs> Why did Dixie fall? Uh, because uh, it was winter and there was snow mm -hmm. and ice. Mm -hmm. And I, I rode Dixie hard. I galloped a lot. And when it took a curve, whew, bam! Poof. Asked me if the horse fell on top of me. Did the horse fall on top fall. of you? Did the horse fall on top of you? Que po por qué tenemos un problemas con mm -hmm. fall? Fall, fell, uh -huh. fallen. Mm. Ask me if the horse fell on top of me. Did the horse fall on top of you? Yes, once. Ask me if I was injured. Were you injured? No, but I was scared. I started yeah. crying. Ask me how old I was. How old were you? I think I was 12. Mm -hmm. And I started crying because of the fear. I, yes. I think it was just the shock. But, but, shock. I, but I was okay. I mm. was okay. You were lucky. <laughs> I was lucky. And the other time the horse fell, but I fell it didn't fall on me, mm -hmm. okay, and I wasn't hurt. I've never been hurt. I think my bones are made of rubber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I played American football for years. Mm -hmm. no, never had a broken mm -hmm. bone. I'm very lucky. Okay, hmm? okay good. So, the question. <coughs> question, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had a horse. Mm -hmm. All right. Ask me if I would like to buy a horse now. Would you like to have a horse now? No, not to really. To buy a horse now? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Uh, ask me if I'm the most intelligent person in the world. Are you the most intelligent person in the world? I don't think so. Ask me if you're the most intelligent person in the world. Am I the most? Am I? Am I? Am I the most intelligent person in the world? 
I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you are potentially and you're not taking Maybe. <laughs> you're not taking advantage of your potential. Ask Mercedes if she's taking full advantage of her potential. Are you taking full advantage of your potential? I try to. Okay, but that's not the question. <laughs> are you taking full advantage of your potential? Yes, I am. Ask me if I'm taking full advantage of my potential. Are you taking full advantage of your potential? No. No, come on. I mean, no, neither are you. No. <laughs> but come I on. And you. Come on. <laughs> and you. Bring me the camera. Can we mm. bring in the camera? All right. Bring me the camera. Are you taking full advantage of your potential? It's an interesting question that you need to ask yourself concerning the English language. I imagine you're not mm. taking full advantage of your potential. Because it's difficult. It's not easy to learn a second language. Algunos por ahí pregonan que con, en cuatro meses usted aprenderá inglés de la forma más cómoda y sin estudio y sin exámenes. Vale, de acuerdo, okay. It's simply not true, okay. These people are liars. They're not telling you the truth. It takes a lot of work. So I can understand that you are, that you are not perseverant sometimes because it's a long route and the light is at the end of the tunnel and usually you can't even see the light al final del tunnel, at tunnel at the end of the tunnel. So it requires sacrifice, hard work, perseverance, patience. It requires a lot of attributes which are, which are very positive attributes but not easy to maintain because you and me and our friends, we're, we're humans and probably prefer to eat, uh, I don't know, pupo a feira and to forget about, at least for today, to forget about English. Don't you agree? No, I don't. <laughs> do, do, do you like octopus? Yes, I like it very much. What is your favorite style of octopus? Pulpo a feira. Pulpo a feira. Okay, <laughs> now, what's more important for you? English language or pulpo a feira? Come English. on. English. English language. Really? Would you renounce pulpo a feira for the rest of your life in exchange for English? Of course I would. Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ask Susana if she would <laughs> renounce paella for the rest of her life in exchange for perfect English. Would you renounce paella for the rest of your life in exchange of English? In exchange for? Ah, in exchange for. <laughs> well, that's a very difficult question, but uh, yes, I think I would. Ask me if I would sacrifice huevos con morcilla <laughs> <laughs> in exchange for perfect French. Would you sacrifice huevos con morcilla in exchange for perfect French? No, no, I'll stay with huevos con morcilla. <laughs> I would love to speak French perfectly. I love, I like the French language very, very mm -hmm. much, but, but huevos con morcilla. That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Ask me if I would pay a million dollars to speak perfect French. Would you pay a million dollars to speak perfect French? Uh, no, I wouldn't. If I had a lot of money, yes, I would. For example, if I had $3 million in the bank, I wouldn't think twice about sacrificing a third of that money mm -hmm. in for a pill that gave me perfect French. I would do it. I would sacrifice a third of my estate. ¿Cómo se dice mi patrimonio? Estate. Estate. Con ahí delante. I would um, sacrifice a third of my estate for perfect French uh, because it's important for me. But I don't have that much money, so mm -hmm. I can't. I wouldn't pay. All right, ask me how much time we have left. How much time do we have left? I don't know, I think we have about one minute left. Is that true? About one minute. All right, one more question. One more question. Uh, could Marilyn Monroe sing like an opera star? In my opinion, no, she, she couldn't. Ask Mercedes if Marilyn Monroe sang in some of her movies. Uh, did Marilyn Monroe sing in some of her movies? I think she did. Yes. Pronunciation, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn? Monroe. Repeat, Marilyn? Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn, no, Marilyn. Marilyn, Marilyn. Monroe. Monroe. All right, uh, she sang in some of her movies. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I consider her a good actress. Do you consider her a good actress? Yes, I do. I think she was a good actress in the end. Mm -hmm. I think she became a very good actress as the years progressed. Ask me if I consider Elvis Presley a good actor. Do you consider Elvis Presley a, go, uh, a good actor? Yes, I do. If you watch his movies, he does them very, very well. And if you talk to experts in film, they will tell you that Elvis Presley, uh, surprisingly, uh, was a very good actor. Mm -hmm. Even his silly movies, Viva mm -hmm. Las Vegas, he was a good actor. He was a good actor. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Time to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Eso sí. Os lo prometo. 
We will be right back. Así se dice. Enseguida volvemos. We'll be right back, so uh, don't go away. <laughs> 